Hey, my name is Max. Welcome back to part five of this tutorial series on Gulp and modern web development workflow. By now, we have the majority of our tasks down. We're compiling J templates, we're browserifying and minifying JavaScript, we're converting SAS to CSS and minifying that as well. We're using environment variables to kind of split up the build process depending on what environment we're compiling for. But still, every time we make a change to a file, we have to go back to the terminal, run the task to compile or minify or do whatever we do. And that's kind of tedious. So in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up watchers with Gulp that automatically execute tasks when certain files change. This way we can, for example, say, if any JavaScript file changes, run the browserify task. This will save us a lot of time and truly automate the build process. Let's get to work. We'll simply call our new task watch. We don't need a plugin, we just have to type gulp.watch and then specify any glob. So for our J templates, that will be source, templates, any subfolder, any file that has the J extension. And then we want to execute the J task. For our JavaScript files, this will be source, JS, any subfolder, any file with the JS extension. And if any of those files change, we want to execute the JS task. For SAS, it's the same process. Source, SAS, any subdirectory, any SCSS file. And if one of those files changes, we want to execute the SAS task. And that's really it. Now all we have to do is go to the terminal, type gulp watch, and we're watching for file changes. Now let me quickly demonstrate that this already works. I'm going to go into my main.js file, and I'm just going to add some text to this string. Now if I head back to the terminal, gulp has notified me that it ran JS, and that was because I saved the file and gulp detected that there was a change. Now I'll go to the logger, I'll make another change, and I'm going to just log anything that needs to be logged twice. And if I save and get back to the terminal, we can see that JS has been executed again. Now I'm going to go into my J template, and I'm just going to add some text to the title, go back to the terminal, and confirm that the J task was executed already. Now let me change the value of our color in the variables.scss file, and Going back to the terminal, Gulp already realized that we changed the file and recompiled our SAS. Our final check will be to open up the site in the browser, and we can confirm the title has changed, the text color has changed, and we have a different string logged twice to the console. Now there is only one problem with using a watch task to build our stuff. If you change files and start the watch task after the changes have already been made, then there aren't any file changes that are picked up unless you save those files again when they are already being watched. So what you should do in practice is set up a default task that first executes all our normal tasks like SAS and Jade and JS, and then sets up a watcher. And I'll show you how to do that now. It's just one line of code. We're setting up the default task now, and all it's going to do is execute several task dependencies. And these are JS, Jade, SAS, and the watch task. And we can execute this task by going to the terminal and just typing gulp. And whenever you only type gulp, it will always run the task with the name default. Note that all the tasks we specified as dependencies for the default task are being run asynchronously. If you need to specify an exact order in which gulp tasks are run, you can use a node module called runSequence, and that will do just that for you. But since none of our tasks depend on one another, we can just run them asynchronously. Okay, in this video we did a lot of talking, not so much coding, but still got a lot done. We really improved our workflow. I think that says a lot about how awesome gulp is. Thank you very much for watching. More videos are coming soon, so stay tuned for that. If you have any feedback, send me a tweet or leave a comment under this video. Any feedback is always greatly appreciated. I'll see you again soon. Thanks again. Bye.